today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite finger picking patterns to play on the ukulele and a lot of really great tips to make your finger stop playing more smooth and beautiful. Hope you'll watch the whole video because I've got some really nice things to share with you in this one. And we're getting started right now. Let's do this. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Stu, this is Ukulele Zen. This channel is all about helping you to approach your ukulele and your music journey in a way that's more relaxing and positive. If you're enjoying this, hope you'll click subscribe. I put out content like this each and every week. The beautiful finger style pattern I'm gonna be sharing with you today will be applying to a Bob Dylan song, Don't Think Twice Is All Right, and we'll be doing that later this month. Finger style playing is a vast subject, and I've geeked out on it for many years as a classical and Latin style guitarist. Tip number one, it's all about placing the fingers on the strings, planting them on the strings. So here's the exercise. Rub your fingers on the strings and you want to make sure that you get an indentation right at the tip of the finger. You can see that the string is connecting on this side of the finger just where the fingernail meets the flesh. Now you do not need fingernails in order to play well. I use fingernails to get some extra tone and volume but please play with the flesh if that's what you have and just make sure you're playing with just the tip. Speaking of tips, tip number two, make sure that your wrist is straight and you have a little bit of space between the strings so your fingers are suspended in midair and they just are floating at the distance where they would find the strings pretty effortlessly. Once you get a handle of where to rest the arm and the distance of the strings uh, to the fingers, things really start cooking. Really important to have a straight wrist, don't bend it this way or this way. It should be the same position you have if you were shooting a bow and arrow or picking up a suitcase or your ukulele case. I'd like to show you the pattern slowly and clearly so you can put it into your playing right away. Fingers we'll be using are thumb, index, and middle. Plant your middle finger on the first string, first finger is on the second string, thumb will be bouncing back and forth between the fourth and the third string. Notice how my thumb sits a little bit on this side. You don't need a low G to play this ukulele uh, pattern. I'm using low G, but please use whatever tuning you're using, whether it's high G or baritone, it's all beautiful. The pattern is an eighth note pattern and it goes like this. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, index. The strings are four, two, three, one, four, two, three, two. Okay, that takes one bar of time. Let's count it as eighth notes. Ready, two and three and four and one and two. One more time. That's the pattern. You could pause the video, get that under your fingers, make sure you can just do this in your sleep. You know, I recommend as always, look at your fingers, appreciate the choreography. How beautiful is that, that you just stroke your fingers through the air and this beautiful sound comes out. If you're enjoying this video, will you do me a favor and click the like button? Really appreciate that. And leave a comment below. Let me know, have you been playing fingerstyle ukulele or guitar for years or maybe for minutes? Let me know in the comment section below. I wanna know where you are in your music journey so I can better serve you. Now let's apply this beautiful pattern to the chords. We'll do it slowly and let's just learn the chords, strumming them slowly. This is the first eight bars of the song. Don't think twice, it's all right. One, two, join in. C, two, three, four. G, two, three. Two bars of A minor. Two, three, four. Now, two bars of F. One, two, three, four. One, two. A one bar of C. Two, three, four. G, two, three, four. And there we go. Now, let's apply the pattern. One, two, and three, and four, and C. Two, Another A minor, F, C, G. It ain't no use in turning 
turn on your light, babe Like you haven't done before Now once you get a handle on this pattern, it becomes really easy to add some more nuance, some melodic What I did there extra melody note well there's a lot of extra things i'll be sharing with you in a bonus lesson for patrons at my patreon page click the link below if you want to join the community there's all kinds of very cool things waiting for you at my patreon page let me share one with you right now notice if i follow through on the middle finger we get a very cool syncopation check it out i play the pattern right there i play that middle finger a little louder any embellishments it's already adding some nice nuance to the rhythm now take a look at this okay now true I did break the pattern just a little bit I'm playing are C, G, A minor, F. This is the last eight bars of the song. We'll be learning the entire song in an upcoming video. And if you want to join me for that lesson, click right here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you dug this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you want to get some extra lessons, visit my Patreon page. There are links below, all kinds of cool goodies for you there. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.